Um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for me to sort of be put into a more leadership role. I sort of did some stuff in the 100 last year. Um, well, yeah, I guess two seasons ago. Um, and I think it's part of my game that, that I'm looking forward to developing a bit more. Um, yeah, just really um, happy to get the opportunity to, to learn and, and grow in different conditions. Yeah, I think um, even just sort of a, a year on, I, I feel like um, I'm much more confident um, like outgoing sort of person. I feel like I've got a lot of experience now that I can sort of lean on. Um, yeah, I think I I'm just want to keep growing. Um, I, I certainly feel like I learned a lot for that from that season of the 100. Um, sort of being thrust into it, I didn't do, I was a little unsure to start, but um, yeah, I feel I feel in a, a pretty comfortable place now, sort of with tactics and, and things like that. So yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a good question really. Um, I think um, there's almost a, a bit of extra pressure as captain, you know, you want to you wanna lead by example and I guess as a bowler as well, it, it's um, tricky, especially because I find myself um, not bowling myself because I want to give everyone else the best opportunity. So um, I guess just trying to be a bit selfish in that way. Um, but yeah, I think um, with or without captaincy, I always want to do what's what's best for the team and, and put on a good performance. Um, yeah, I, I think it doesn't add too much because I've already got like quite high expectations for myself anyway. So um, yeah, captain or no captain, I I definitely want to want to do my best. Yeah, I mean, I um, I came about four years ago actually um, on a on a sort of development a mm -hmm. kind of tour. Um, yeah, we had a, we had a few games, but they weren't super competitive. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a really good opportunity to sort of put my skills out there. I, you know, notoriously India is, is a great place to bowl spin, so um, hopefully conditions sort of favour uh, our spinners in that way. Uh, and of course India is as great spinners as they have too. Um, so it's going to be a really, a really big challenge, um, but it's something that I feel like myself and the team, we've, we've done some really good prep, so um, yeah, I think just major themes of being excited to, to go out there and, and give it a go. Yeah, I mean, it was. I think it was really good for us as a team to get out there. We we managed to um, have some really competitive nets in the middle and some match practice kind of um, yeah internal games. Um, also in, in a bit more heat, considering it's minus one like Celsius back at home. So I think it was really good prep for us. I think you know we we gelled as a group as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like it's, it's certainly the best prep. I feel like I've had for for a, a like a tour in tough conditions. Um, yeah, so I think it was it was vital for us to to sort of be in warmer conditions earlier and and get used to playing out on grass rather than just being indoors back at home. Yeah, I guess a lot of, a lot of transitions though. Um, I think for me, like the the more cricket I play in the lead up to. Hopefully the test match, you know, the better the better I'll be, the more in rhythm. Uh, so no matter what format it is, um, it's just good to be getting some overs under my belt and and starting to really feel like I'm I'm bowling well and, and in control. Um, I mean, a test match in India is something to really look forward to as a spinner. Um, and I think if I can give myself the best opportunity to get selected and, and you know bowl as many overs as possible. Um, yes, yeah, I use the word exciting a lot, but I'm super excited about it. Yeah, I mean, um, sort of. I, I missed out this summer uh, in the Ashes, and I was, I was pretty disappointed about that. To be honest, I think Test is probably the purest form of the game. Um, you can really, you know, think deeply about your tactics and how you set up batters and. Um, yeah, I think I I missed out on the squad and, and I was pretty determined to, to work super hard to be able to be in a place where I could be up for selection. So to just be in the squad for this test is, um, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. 
Um, I guess for, for a lot of the girls playing test cricket, it's, we're all still learning a bit because, I mean, we, we predominantly play white ball. Um, so yeah, I think the like cricket nerd in me is loving the opportunity to play more Red Bull cricket. Um, and I think I think a lot of the girls, you know, really enjoy um, the challenge that comes with that. Yeah, I mean, sort of, we can we can be honest and say that probably our, our playing of spin um, in the Ashes and um, the Sri Lanka series that we had towards the end of our summer um, was probably the weakest part of our game and something that we've identified that we, we need to get better at. Um, I know a lot of the, the first team batters had a camp in India um, a month ago and, and really, um, yeah, just started exploring different ways of, of how to go about playing, sort of spin not from the crease, whether that's getting super forward or back or introducing sweeping. Um, I think everyone has individual ways in which they feel like they can combat spin the best. Um, but I'm being super clear with that. Um, for some people it might be, you know, using the crease, depth of crease. With others, they like coming to the ball a bit more. Um, but yeah, I think I think as a team we've been exploring those options, finding out what's what's best for us, and hopefully we can we can go out there and show that we are we're learning and we're we're getting better at that. Um, but I think you know it's it's only been a short time, so it's definitely a long term goal for us, especially. You know, with the first team, the next couple of World Cups um, in Bangladesh and in India, so sort of subcontinent conditions where spin will be probably key. And well, spin is pretty key in the women's game anyway. It's it's, a, it's where games can turn. So yeah, we we certainly want to be um, in the best possible place to be able to combat that. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. I think. Um, so this A tour is, is a brilliant opportunity for for us to sort of try and prepare players for for the future tours. Um, you know we've got we've got some really brilliant seamers coming up in our uh, ranks: um, Lauren Filer, Izzy Wong, Freya Kemp, um, Mihika Gore, and I guess also being being a seamer in those um, subcontinent conditions, it's probably good to get out here as much as possible and just get used to that. Um, so we're looking forward to that opportunity and, and then similar with the bat, just um, I imagine everyone has individual goals that, that, that they'll want to achieve um, and the more we can um, get used to conditions and, and be able to make clear precise plans the, the better we'll be prepared for future World Cups or series that, that are out here. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the depth of talent that we have sort of in our squad and, and wider back at home is, is pretty exciting. Um, you know, the Filer's got some raw pace um, and yeah, she's a, she's a really attacking bowler. Um, and Izzy Wong's getting back to, to where she was, you know, previously before our English season. So yeah, it's really exciting. Sort of Freya Kemp being back from injury as well. Um, they really sort of bolsters our side. So yeah, I feel like we're we're pretty stacked in the in the seam region, which is you know a nice place to be in. Um, we haven't yet. We 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 got in a couple of days ago, and we've just been um, at the ground and at the hotel, but. I think on a few days off, sort of between games, we should be able to go out and have a bit more of explore. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I think the Gateway of India will be somewhere that that we'll want to get to. Um, I'm not too sure. I feel like a lot of the girls want to play some golf, so <laughs> um, I can imagine that that will be happening at some point as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, not massively. I mean, we've we've had some really good stuff for lunch at the grounds, sort of some dal and. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really, we've, they've looked after us really well. Um, so yeah, it's nice to sort of step out of comfort zones. I think a couple of the girls were um, a bit taken aback by a couple of how spicy some of the food was, <laughs> but um, I've enjoyed it. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, the WPL has been massive for the for the growth of, of women's cricket, especially here in India. Um, it's, it's been pretty cool actually to, to be able to watch from home. Um, 
I, um, I, well, when I was here sort of four years ago, we went, me, Izzy, and a, a couple of the other girls went to the Wankady Stadium. We watched Kieran Pollard absolutely belt some sixes. So I've always been a bit of a Mumbai Indians fan from, from then. Um, I think for me, I'd love to play in the WPL. I feel like it's the pinnacle of, of you know, where women's cricket could, could be at. Um, you know, in terms of the crowd, how passionate people are here, um, it's super exciting. Um, I've heard a lot of stories from Izzy and Nat, and um, a lot of the girls had ex amazing experiences. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little jealous, but hopefully, I've got a, a long career to come, so it could be something that, that comes on the radar. But yeah, I guess for me, I'm just trying to enjoy my cricket as much as possible at the moment, and if that's something that comes up, then yeah, I'll grab that opportunity. But, yeah.